uh, can you invite our next uh, speaker? Yes, it's a great pleasure to invite our, our third keynote speaker today, um, Dr. Mayumi Okado. Mayumi is from um, the Centre for Ainu and Indigenous Studies in the University of Hokkaido. Uh, about 18 months ago, I went to Hokkaido and gave a, a lecture, and Mayumi translated from English into Japanese. You'll be very glad to hear that I'm not going to attempt to reciprocate the... Uh, the uh, <laughs> and, and people quite liked my lecture, but I think it was because of Mayumi's translation rather than because of what I actually said. But Mayumi is appropriate for us because she has had a wide range of experience with, with various issues of heritage, particularly in areas of conflict and difficulty. So it's a great pleasure to welcome Mayumi. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll just add that um, I knew for French, for historian is very important, as you know. Yes. Yeah. The one who was there was so important. That's true. <laughs> And 
This chronology sets time of the period based on the statehood and national government. Therefore, northern end, northern end Hokkaido and southern end Okinawa history, which was different from the mainstream, has been abstracted as a marginal region. This figure shows uh, this figure shows that clear uh, Hokkaido has different archaeological chronology from the main island of Japanese archipelago. After the German period, around um, BC BC twelve thousand, uh, no, so BC three hundred, <coughs> the main island developed city-state society, then national centralization. On the other hand, people in Hokkaido continue continued to a hunter-gatherer society in rich environment at Ebi Jomon and Satsumon Ela. Uh, Concurrently uh, concur with the Satsumon culture impacted from the main island, main island the Ahots culture arose primarily in the area along the Sea of Ahots in the Hokkaido around the 5th century. People of the Ahots culture kept their styles at the ritual spaces located in their houses. Bear seems, uh, bear seems to have played an important role in their religion. Since the Ainu people also enshrined the bear skulls on the altars outside of their houses, the Ohotsuku culture probably brought, in, uh, probably brought significant influence on the Ainu culture in the uh, indigenous aspects. Uh, Mao's in the Ohotsu culture and Satsumon culture around the 11th century and the Ainu culture was formed around the 13th century. Ainu people lived at Kotan, a village, located nearby river and sea where they obtained the resources. Basically, Ainu people lived by hand, hunting, fishing, and plant gathering. In addition to it, they actively traded play, fur and skins from deer, seabulls and other animals, as well as hooks, feathers, and salmon to ethnic Japanese in the main island, and people living in the Saharin, the Ch Kamchaka, and China for glass bowls, silks, fabric, and metal implements, and so on. However, in the mid, uh, mid of fif uh, 15th century, the Edo shogunate extended their influences over southern Hokkaido and came to take fishing and trading rights uh, forcibly from the Ainu people. Although several Ainu rose rebellions against, against them, oppression by the Edo, Edo shogunate to the Ainu became a stronger Ainu sphere. In 1869, the Meiji government renamed this island as Hokkaido and making it part of Japan. The Ainu were in incorporated into the nation and listed as a commoners on their family registers, but the Ainu are also referred to as a former Aborigines, and discrimination against them continued. In the same year, the Development Commission was established and, uh, and outlawed the Ainu languages and lifestyle and introduced a policy of forced Japanization. Till an act, uh, enactment of the law for the protection of Ainu culture, uh, aiming to realize a society in which the ethnic pride of Ainu culture, they have had the disadvantageous ad advantageous position under the dominance, dominance and uh, oppression of cur current government. And finally, 2008, one year after the UN declaration on the rights of indigenous people, both House of Parliament adopted decision to urge the national government to recognize the Ainu people as an indigenous people. Uh, since the law for the protection of the cultural property in Japan uh, and foreign am uh, amendment law do not mention any definition of the cultural property related to the Ainu people, my paper tries to understand the feature of the Ainu heritage referred to UN interpretation of the indigenous heritage. The UN Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous People 2007 clearly mentions that the indigenous people have the right to practice and uh, revitalize their culture, cultural traditions and customs, including managing archaeological and historical, heritage, uh, historical sites in Article 11. 
the detailed, uh, detailed descri uh, description of the indigenous heritage was presented two years before the UN declaration. The Commission on Human Rights settled the draft principles and guidelines on the heritage of the indigenous people in 2005. The draft defines indigenous culture heritage as both tangible and intangible creations. Creations, manifestations, and production, considering of characteristic elements of the cultural heritage developed and maintained by the indigenous people or indigenous individuals. Uh, for instance, uh, traditional lands, natural resources, including historical scare sites, traditional knowledge and practice, literary works, musical expressions, performance, handicraft, and social practice. Refer to the union interpretations, and heritage can be categorized for uh, four parts. Firstly, uh, it includes cultural landscape. Uh, cultural landscape, place name, and sacred, uh, sacred holy places. And secondly, intangible inter heritage, including traditional knowledge, customs. And thirdly, archaeological and historical sites. And fourthly, uh, is related to the site, but material cultures and handicrafts. Several features are found from the Ain heritage. For instance, uh, as for the cultural landscape, the same as other indigenous, uh, indigenous heritage, but that's uh, sec, sec, uh, holy places, hold, uh, holy places sometimes very invisible for the outsiders. In Ainu culture, they have all, uh, they have the holy places called Chinomishiri, which means we play, we play, uh, we play the place in Ainu uh, languages where Ainu people set up its modified natural landscape. And sometimes, uh, although Chino Michiri is quite important for their spiritual culture as well as in uh, indigenous heritage, but uh, since it is supposed to be kept secret among only family members, uh, therefore it's quite difficult to find out by the outsiders. And I, uh, let me introduce briefly about the Ainu uh, archaeological remains. But for instance, Ainu people have a send, uh, sending their ceremony outside of the house. So we sometimes found at the site at the bone concentration, and also uh, some uh, uh, some uh, the remains of the hall that stick things uh, stick into it. But uh, the wood, wood is all, uh, wood is um, gone already, so we only found the hall. And we also uh, excavated the house uh, made from the wood and other uh, plants. And we also uh, call the site as uh, this uh, rocky mountains like this. It is called a uh, chashi, which means fortification. But as I said, I people sometimes constructed, uh, constructed the holy place and those fortifications with modifying natural landscape. So it's sometimes very hard to find out by the ethnic Japanese. And also, they, um, we, uh, when we excavated the site, we found those uh, artifacts and pottery and the Uru sticks, as well as the fishing net. And also, this is a very remarkable thing is, as I said, Ainu people are actively, actively trading with ethnic Japanese people at the medieval age. So Ainu people are uh, exported from lacquerware and those metal implements from the Japanese, and then they store those things in the house as a treasure. But uh, if the archaeologists who don't know the the idea of the Ainu people, when they found, uh, when they excavated those stuff from that uh, site, maybe the, that archaeologist would think, oh, maybe the Ainu people accept the Japanese culture. But uh, the thing is different. Ainu people exported those things and they interpreted 
as uh, with, uh, is, uh, uh, with adding different meaning. For instance, the metal, uh, metal, uh, metal implements on the left, left side, it's uh, originally, uh, or original uh, function is the decoration of the metal gear for the samurai in the mid, uh, medieval age. But uh, for I people, this head here means a treasure and a god. So this is, uh, we can know that from the name of this metal gear. I know people call this treasure as a Pena Ushi Tomi Kamui, which means treasure god with a quest. So I know people, we interpreted the products exported from, ja uh, from Japan. So archaeologists must know about this fact, otherwise they, uh, they interpreted misunderstood. So um, the pro uh, previous uh, chapters tried to grasp outline of the iron heritage, and after enforcement of the act on the promotion of the iron culture, and this uh, iron culture in 1997, the government has tried to revive especially traditional knowledge, languages, custom, performance have been actively. However, any legislation for protecting archaeological sites and remains related to iron, iron as well as recognizing their rights in managing those archaeological materials has not been done. Coming up discussion, about the indigenous people and archaeology uh, regarding lack of measures for iron heritage have been given. For instance, Kato takes an uh, idea of indigenous archaeology conducted actively in the United States. He insists that the protecting iron heritage with respect for their ethnic identity should be begun from the excavation. And cooperative Archaeological research with I people is essential for the future archaeology in Hokkaido Japan, and Japan. And also, Hata and Okada points out, current legislation is not enough to appreciate archaeological remains and sites which is supported reconstructed history and cultural diversity in Hokkaido. One of the reasons why the current legislation is not able to evaluate appropriately is that still many people believe that Hokkaido does not have history. Before 1869, when, when the Meiji government uh, merged Hokkaido into Japan. Sorry for this um, figure, it's a bit small, but uh, this uh, figure shows the number of the cultural property and under protection based on the law for the protection of cultural property and those related to iron culture. In total, 344 cultural property are registered as either national or regional property in Hokkaido. Those related to iron culture, however, are only 18 properties among 344. Also, um, 52 archaeological sites are registered in Hokkaido. This number accounts only for 4% of all registered sites in Japan. And Hata points out another subject for it. A formation and development period of iron culture in Hokkaido is equivalent to uh, from the second half of the classic period to the modern period in the main island. This figure shows uh, that the historical and cultural chronology of Hokkaido diverse from that of main island, but this, uh, but the present, uh, but the, uh, the present legislation system just based on the chronology of main island. So it's very hard to appreciate, uh, 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 evaluate the Hokkaido uh, archaeological remains in Hokkaido. Uh, and as a, uh, and as a uh, present legislation systems. And third, the background proceeds from the regulation or approval of archaeological materials as varied cultural property. In 1998, the Ministry of Education uh, delivered to local government the notice of facilitation of the excavation and uh, protection of varied, varied, uh, varied cultural property. 
This notice manifested a standard in registration of archaeological materials as varied cultural properties. According to the notice, the varied cultural properties include number one, all the property to the medieval age. Number two, among the property to the early modern age, what the local community ever read it important. And number three, among the property to the contemporary, uh, what the local community ever read is particularly important. So in short, uh, archaeological remains after the early modern age heavily depending on the demands of the local community. As it happens, um, a part of the Ainu cultural property overlap to the modern age. As I mentioned that the Ainu people are super minority in Japan, so unless the whole, whole member of the community will understand Ainu culture and history and try to evaluate them in proper, archaeological sites and remains related to Ainu culture will be possibly lost. So in order to understand and appreciate archaeological Ainu heritage appropriately, awareness uh, that the land of Hokkaido embraces multicultural history is very important. One of, the post, uh, post, uh, one of the positive way to get involved the public into archaeology is community involved archaeology, I believe. If community archaeology, uh, community involved archaeology can be defined as uh, let the archaeology open to the public by several ways, Japan has relatively long career in doing the community involved archaeology. The section of the uh, archaeological heritage management of local government and museum have conducted public outreach programs such as, such as information sessions on the field, hands-on archaeological workshop, and experience excavation all over the Japan after uh, late 1980s. Those programs are planned to promote the public understanding archaeology and the importance of local archaeological property. But the community involved archaeology now necessary for Hokkaido may play another role, which assists the public to understand diversity and dynamics of culture and history in Hokkaido, and to become supporter to appreciate indigenous heritage. I um, sorry. I have worked, uh, I've been working on the community involved archaeology at the Hamanakatsu site in the Lagoon Island of Hokkaido. Uh, the Hamanakatsu site is suppo uh, supposed to contain the Jomon, Epijomon, Ohots, and Ainu culture, Ainu culture without any blood, so which means a sort of time capsule to know the history of whole uh, history of the Hokkaido. And it's ideal site to perceive human and cultural adaptation and change at the one place. This archaeological project at the Hamanakatsu site aims not only to study human material culture, but also to involve local people and Ainu people into the field in scheme of public archaeology and community archaeology. For the past two years, we conducted outreach program for the local community and archaeological school program. In outreach program for the local community, we had a site open day with information sessions and experience uh, excavations. And we had 13 guests, uh, 13 guests for one day, uh, one day. And also, we collaborated with the primary and secondary school teachers and made an archaeological class for uh, archaeological class for students using ongoing excavations. Uh, also, detailed activities will be the topic for another workshop, so I can I can explain the detail. But um, we are planning to continue those activities for the future and to let the people know about the Ainu, Ainu heritage, also like diversity of the Hokkaido history. Of course, we never forget the community in Hokkaido always in, uh, contains Ainu people as well. Now there's no Ainu resident in Lebanon Island, 
So we said that short field school for IMUs uh, invited all over the Hokkaido in 2013, and we have three uh, IMUs at this time. But I have to say, uh, and uh, uh, as you see, the academic research is relatively flexible. But uh, I can, I have to say, the another issues. Uh, before us in doing committee involved archaeology in Hokkaido, especially rescue excavation. Generally speaking, uh, archaeological excavation can be divided roughly into academic research and rescue excavations. In Japan, rescue excavations account for more than 80% 80, 80 of the whole excavation per year. Most of the uh, rescue excavation aim to survey and record briefly before construction. And usual, uh, usually, those excavations should be done during a certain, uh, a certain time. In Hokkaido, rescue excavation reveals iron bridges, uh, dwellings, tombs, even holy places, especially when they ex excavated Riverside or uh, alluvial farm, because iron people often used to leave the Riverside and those uh, areas uh, nearby. Uh, nearby they can catch the resources. Um, although there is a gro uh, growing tendency for protecting the iron culture these days, any special regulations related to protect the antiquities of iron culture has not been implemented. Therefore, most of the sites and remains won't be stayed as it used to be, and only things to be left is brief excavation reports, the same as other cases. Most of the pro uh, process has been done without any discussions with Ainu people who are descendants of those cultures. But now, some local governments take a measure for undesirable current situations, taking an opportunity to find sites related to Ainu culture by rescue excavations. For, in uh, for example, at Tsuma Town, where many Ainu villages were uh, used to located, have several sites of Ainu culture and Satsumon culture. These sites contain quite valuable remains to consider material, uh, material and spiritual culture of Ainu people in the medieval age and modern age. Archaeologists of the Atsuma town firstly called the Ainu Association of the Hokkaido to ask to have traditional memorial service of ancestors when they excavated the tombs. Uh, the photos uh, right down uh, right side. And besides, they have consulted with the Ainu Association about the treatment for the human bodies uh, with respect. As for outreaching, ar archaeologists conduct information sessions open for everyone before the sites are gone uh, due to the construction and try to inform local heritage for many people as much as possible. These trials have been seen at several areas, even if the rescue excavations have more time restriction than the academic excavations. The movement of the community involved archaeology in Hokkaido is just started, and its wave is still too small to change things better rapidly. However, at the society, consider of uh, the, however, in the society consisted of the overwhelming majority Japanese and minority Ainu people, we are sure to involve not only Ainu people but also Japanese into archaeology to promote understanding distinctive, distinctive, distinctiveness of the indigenous heritage. These trials will lead to take a role the public to appreciate indigenous heritage for instance, world heritage. Nat uh, Natural World Heritage Shiretoko was registered in 2005. And this is, this is located uh, very eastern, uh, eastern uh, northern east side of Hokkaido. And this area was highly evaluated in natural aspect. But this area also contains more than uh, 114 archaeological sites, including 19 chashi, uh, the fortification site in the Ainu culture period. 
But um, and also even if um, International Union for the Conservation of Natural Resources uh, report evaluate Ainu heritage inside the territory and recommend strongly recommend and cooperated in the managing area with Ainu people, nothing have advanced and nothing have been done so far. But if the uh, if the the wave of the doing community involved archaeology in Japan has more expanded, my, the situation might be changed. So thank you for your attention and then uh, I find uh, lastly I will introduce one of the out piece uh, 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 out box um, idea from the archaeology website. This logo was uh, our project logo in Levin Island excavation, and this logo was made by the Ainu artist uh, Yuki Koji. He's, he got the inspiration of this idea from the artifacts and the site from the Ainu period. So we might be using the archaeological uh, activities in our, our work in such way. So thank you for your attention.